In this video, I'm going to teach you how to design a t-shirt like this using dash lines and styles in Affinity Designer. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juno with Detour Shirts. I've been designing and selling t-shirts online since 2005, and this channel is about helping you to learn how to design and sell t-shirts online. If that's something you want to learn how to do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So the idea for this video came from my Facebook group. Someone asked on my Facebook group how to design this t-shirt right here. You can see it's a circle with dots. So I wanted to teach you how to do that style in Affinity Designer while also teaching you uh, how to do dash lines and styles. So in this video, you're gonna learn how to do all those things. And I'm gonna use all of that to make this design right here um, that I showed you in the beginning. So. All of this is gonna be in Affinity Designer. You're gonna to wanna to stay till the end so you can see how to do everything, as well as another edition of Trend Credits. I'm gonna have that at the end of this video. This is a trend on Amazon that's trending right now and doing pretty well. So I'll show you how well it's doing at the end of the video. So this video will be in Affinity Designer. And if you don't have Affinity Designer, I have a link in the description to Affinity Designer. You can check it out and follow along there. So let's get into Affinity Designer right now. So here I am in Affinity Designer. I just opened up a letter um, version in Affinity Designer, the letter size. And this is how easy it is to change it to the right size. So you go to Document Setup, and then you can, instead of, uh, well, not print, instead of inches, you go to Pixels right there. And you can change this right here to say 4,500 to 5,500. This is the Merch by Amazon t-shirt size and just hit and make sure you have 300 dpi right there and then hit okay and there we go well we're, we're all set so you can see um this right here the document set up if i hit it again it says 4500 by 5400 and that's perfect that's exactly what we need so first things first let's draw a circle we're going to use this circle or ellipse tool right here just click on it and then hold down shift and draw the circle the size that you want. I'm gonna make it about that size right there. Uh, you can do it whatever size you want and kind of center it. The way you center it is you go to align horizontally and just hit that centered, right? Align centered. So uh, now we wanna get rid of the fill and only have this black stroke right here. And I'm gonna make it all black, right? And then I'm gonna play with the size of the stroke. So you go to the stroke uh, tab or palette right here and then change the weight of it so you can see the width or the weight um, I'm gonna make mine about there let's just do an even 10 point right there and then the next thing you want to do is do dash line so you can see this solid line the next one up here is dash line so let's do dash line you can see right here it's rounded corners so let me zoom in See those rounded corners? And that's because the cap is rounded right here, rounded cap. If I did a butt cap, it would look like that. If I did a square cap, it would fill it in because it's all the way to the end. So the butt cap is, uh, you know, less and the filled in cap is that. So we're gonna play with this one right here, rounded, because that's kind of like a circle, right? This is the dash right here. So you can see one and one. So this is how big the line is, and this is how big the space is, and there's two of them. So let me show you what happens if I do the space of two, and I hit enter. Um, if I did this, you can see it better. So one and two of those fit in here, right? So that's what it means, one and two. So if I made it one and one, it would be even, right? One line plus one, even. So let me show you the difference now. So let's do one, and two on here. So now it has this one, let's start here, one, and then the dash is one, and then the next dash, this one is one, and then the next space is two. So you can do uh, kind of a combo here with this. That's why there's four right here. So we're not gonna use these. Let's just put this at zero, and then it will be fine. And so we won't use those. So the way to do the circle, you might have figured out, is to do the round cap but then we don't want this as long as one, we want it shorter, right, to make the circle. So you can also use decimal points. So I'm gonna go 
dot zero five. Let's see how, how skinny that is. And you can see it's kind of a circle, but I need more space in between the circle. So that space is uh, not the one, but we'll make it, let's make it three and we'll see what it looks like. So I hit three and you see that's a lot of space. So let's just do two and you can kind of play around with it. So there's two. Now I think that works well. We can try and make this smaller and see if it looks more like a circle. I'll do 0 0.02. Yeah, that looks a little more like a circle. Now what's happening here, you may have noticed, I'm gonna zoom in right here. This is kind of where it connects everything. So you'll see this one are two circles kind of getting together. So when I zoom out here, what's gonna happen when I make the circle bigger or smaller, I'm gonna hold down shift and you're gonna see those circles come out of there. You see that? So the way you wanna do it is you wanna make it so the circles like right before it comes out, right there, see that? So I'm holding down shift, let's do that again. Click on it, hold down the corner, hold down shift while you're doing this, and then you can see it's growing or shrinking, right? So you wanna get it to where the circle is right there. So that's how easy it is to do the circle. Let's zoom back out and there it is, the circle. So if you want the circle bigger, of course you might've figured this out. Um, I'm just gonna make the width bigger, right? So let's click on this and the width is bigger and the circles can be bigger. You want the circle smaller, make the width smaller. And again, you're gonna to have to play around with that center one right there. So if I want, want it bigger like this and it's not quite centered, then hold down shift right here and close it up like that, okay? That's how easy it is to do it in Affinity Designer. You might have not known it was that easy. So the next thing I'm gonna teach you is how to draw a, kind of a dash line. I wanted to show you the dash line and use it as an element. So let's just draw a rectangle here, but fill it, no dash. So one of the things that the dash line is good for is to make it look like stitching. So I'm gonna just type in a word here um, and we're gonna type in craft. And let's just, let's just uh, make it white here. And we're gonna use a different font. And the font I'm gonna use is watermelon down here. And I'm gonna use all caps. So all caps, crafts, like that, and just make it fill the space. Like that. Okay, now I'm gonna use the dash line here. I'm gonna just draw a line first. So from here to here, Right, and then make it white. You can see right now it's the dots, so we're gonna have to make that dash line a little bit different. So let's go to our stroke. Let's just do one and make this smaller. And you can see right there, it's kind of giving the illusion of a stitching, right? So stitching crafts. And I'm gonna hit option and drag and copy and do that. So now it kind of looks like this is a stitching thing. If you wanna like tilt it, I would grab all of these, you know, and tilt it just a little bit like that. Crafts, isn't that cool? So the next thing I'm gonna show you how to do is we're gonna use that stitching, but we're gonna put it in letters so or, or shapes. So I'm gonna show you how to do both. And that's gonna look like it's stitching the letters. So let's take this again. I'm gonna bring it up here and I'm gonna type in uh, the letter I, I, but I'm gonna make it black. So let's go to the color and instead of white, we do black. And let's just hold it down to make it big here. I, and then I'm gonna do a heart. So we can do this with shapes too. So Click on the star tool or your triangle tool should have been the default there on that little triangle you can see. And then come down here to the heart tool and I'm just gonna draw a heart. It's not gonna have this stroke right yet and move it here. So we're gonna do I love crafts, but we're gonna put the stitching or this dash line inside of it right here. So let's do the, let's do the um, 
letter first. So I want to convert this to curves to make it an object first because it's a text right now. So I'm going to hit convert curves. Now it's an object. Now I'm going to use this tool right here and it's called the contour tool. So first I'm going to make a copy right here. You can see this is the eye curve. I'm going to just duplicate it by hitting J. Now I have two of them. So click the top one, which is this one right here, and then go to the contour tool, click on that, and then just click on this corner and then just bring it in just a little bit. You can see right there, the blue line is bringing it in. You can, you can also bring it out if you want, but I'm going to bring it in like this and then use that as the dashed line. So now we'll make that white and take out this fill. So it's just that stroke. You can hardly see it because the stroke is really small. So I'm going to make it bigger like this. You can see it right there. Uh, that's just about the thickness I want. And now we're going to do the dash line. And of course we want the cap and we want more space in between those. So maybe a two or a three, let's see what two looks like. Yeah. See that? That looks perfect. That looks just like the stitching we have down here. And if you want to make it the same, you can kind of copy this, right? This says one, two at 7.5. Let's see what this one says. Yep, 7.5, one and two. So it's exactly the same. Now, when you have something like this and you don't want to do it over and over again, I mean, you could go in here and just kind of copy those, but you could also save these as styles. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's go to our styles palette. So here is our styles palette. If you don't have it right here, you may have to turn it on. You can go to view, uh, studio, and then styles right there. Okay, so if you don't have it. But this kind of can give you all kinds of different styles. This actually has some preset styles that are pretty cool. I'm going to show you some right now. So neon, that's pretty cool. Dark blue, you can see all these different styles, right? Isn't that cool glitter? I don't know if Merch by Amazon can actually print that, but if you're doing a poster or something, maybe look at that glitter stuff. That's so cool. Just all kinds of these cool styles. I really like this one. So if you're looking for some of these kind of things, it's already in Affinity Designer. I didn't have to make these. So you can always turn off the styles if you want to. So go back to your layers and you can see there's this FX right here. And so if you click on that, it will tell you what the styles are on that object or that, uh, yeah, in this case, an object. So you can just turn them all off right here. And you can see that it's back to normal. Um, with that red outline, I can make this black again. Whoops. Make this black again right there. Okay. So let's just say you want to save this style, this dash line, this stitch line instead of having to type in one and two and 7.6 points and all that stuff, let's do this and go to styles. So all you have to do is right click on it. So right click your mouse and then do create style. So hit that and you'll see the style is right here now, style 25. If you wanna rename that, you have to right click it again on here and say rename style. And I'm just gonna call this uh, stitching. Stitching, okay, and now you can see it says stitching. So when we do this one now, let's go back to our layers and we're gonna do the same thing here. Uh, Command J, right, for the heart. And then we're gonna do that contour right here and kind of eyeball this one right there. And then now all we have to do is click the style. So we'll go back to the style palette and then hit our stitching Boom, that's it. Really simple, so we don't have to do the thing again. So these styles can be very powerful. If you wanna remember how to do something or if you spent a lot of time making a certain style for a letter or object, just save it here and then you'll have it again to use it and just name it. So uh, those are that's how you do all of this. Uh, of course, you can change this heart to, to red if you want to and do that. And there you go. That's how you do that design, really simple. Now you know how to use dash lines, how to make them into circles, how to use it as stitching, you know, and you can do it on letters or on objects, same way. 
and do something like this or similar. Uh, this isn't trending right now, sorry, but you could find something that's trending and use this style on it. So have fun with this one. Uh, have fun with using dashed lines and remember the, the rounded or the flat, you can use either one. I'm using rounded here because it just looks more like something that's threaded, that's rounded here. So uh, again, hopefully this was really helpful for you. Let me know in the comments if it was. And thanks so much for watching this video and your reward for staying all the way to the end is another edition of Trend Credits. Thanks for staying to the end for this Trend Credit. Here is your trend. Pumpkin spice and reproductive rights. You can see right here, it kind of is a mashup of fall, pumpkin spice, and then this whole thing about reproductive rights, you know, pro-choice, all that kind of stuff. Hey, look at this, look at these low BSRs, right? So it's, it's doing that mashup where you can combine two things together, and I think it's working really well. You can see right here, again, low BSRs, low BSRs, right? So you can, um, do those kinds of things as well. If you don't want to do this one, think of two things that you can mash up together that are really hot right now. Fall, we're in fall right now, and this topic is really hot right now. Mashing up those two things that are trending will give you uh, even more trending things sometimes. So uh, take a look at this on Merchant Former. You can see it's getting an A. Uh, the competition is great. Take a look at some of these you know, 49 sales for this one, 45 sales right here. This is a different take on it. Um, fall season kind of thing. So maybe you can, you know, use that with that. I don't know. So if you don't have Merch Informer, I have a link in the description to Merch Informer. This is where you can check competition and also, you know, can see uh, if something's actually getting sales and stuff like that. So let's take a look at this again. Here are some of the BSRs, some of the low BSRs, right? Sub 200, a lot of these. So I've taken the lowest 10 on this page, on this first page, and got the average score. And this is getting an A. So this is super hot right now. Uh, if you have some time, do this. You can see a lot of them are just text right here and they're still selling. Um, so I would do one that's even better than that by putting some graphics or putting some leaves or some kind of pumpkin stuff or just making it in a nicer way that stands out, right? Some of these are kind of small. I think you can you can still break into this. Of course, this is um, for something for fall and for women. So handwritten fonts could do really well here as well. So have fun with this one. And, and again, you don't have to do this exact thing, but this is telling you that taking the two things that are hot right now and kind of putting them together, matching them up together, uh, can get you some really good sales. So this is your trend for this video, pumpkin spice and reproductive rights. So that is it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this video is really helpful for you. Now you can do some dash things and make it look like stitching and do those circles with the dots in them really easy, right? So if this was really helpful for you, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to this channel already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Before I leave, I wanted to leave you with a question of the day. And the question of the day is this, what kinds of things do you think about when you think about fall? So you saw some of these things, uh, pumpkin spice was one of the other ones, hay rides, pumpkins in general, falling leaves. So Think about those kinds of things that happen in fall or that you're excited about in fall and maybe use that to make t-shirts. So you can you saw uh, some of those examples there on Merch Informer, how they use some of those words. Uh, use those words, mash them up together and make something that's really popular for fall right now and hopefully get some sales on t-shirts. Uh, that's your tip for the day and your, and your question, make sure to leave that in the comments there. And if you want to see more videos on how to create t-shirts or different trends on t-shirts, click on these videos right here. And as always, guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.